valence shell electron pair repulsion theory. Well, bear with me. This little story should uh, stick in your head and then you'll understand. These four Dr. Atkinsons have been very naughty, so I'm going to split them up while I talk to them. That one guy is on his own in the room, no problem. The second guy, I want to get him as far away as possible, so I'm going to put him opposite. Now these people represent charge centers. What's a charge center? Well, we'll find out in a minute. The third of the quadruplets, well, now if I want to evenly spread them out, if I want to space them out, because they all repel each other, if you will, if they're electron charge centers. Well, that's gonna be a triangle, an equilateral triangle. That's the best way to split three people up, get them as far away from each other as possible. Now electrons, when they're in charge centers, also try to get as far away from each other as possible. So that's an equilateral triangle, planar, if you will. Here's the question, where'd you put the fourth guy to keep them all evenly spread? Now I know what you're thinking, put him in the middle. Nope, nope, they're not evenly spread out, they're not equidistant. That fourth guy is closer to the ones on the outside than they are to each other. So where can I put him? Think about it, think about it. Aha, boom, on the roof. So now they're evenly separated. And don't forget, these guys are representing charge centers that also need to be uh, evenly separated around uh, the atom. Whoa, francium in the toilet? I'll just put that francium there for safekeeping. What could go wrong? Alrighty, so let's see what a charge center is. And don't forget, they move away from each other, they repel each other. While well, charge center can be a single, a double, a triple bond, or a lone pair of electrons. These are all gonna try and move as far away from each other as possible around the central atom. Okay, hydrogen cyanide, the central atom's carbon. There are two charge centers, so they're gonna be opposite each other, trying to get as far away from each other as possible. The electron pairs are gonna repel. Three charge centers, well that's gonna be an equilateral triangle. Those three pairs of electrons in the bonds, charge centers will be as far away from each other as possible. And a tetrahedral arrangement is when you have four charge centers, tetrahedral arrangement of electrons. The valence shell, the electrons there are in pairs and they repel each other. VSBPR theory. Well, this is part one of a two part video, so I'm gonna explain a bit more later. Let's just drive over to the methane molecule for a closer look. Oh my God, my foot slipped on the accelerator. Dr. Atkinson. Oh, Francium and water. Oh dear 